after LSU's Pro Day, where Jaden Daniels, the recent Heisman Trophy winner, got to show off his cannon of an arm and running ability, the Bears didn't even look or talk to Daniels. In fact, it was confirmed that they weren't meeting with him anyway, as they had their eyes on the number one guy there, Malik Neighbors, wide receiver from LSU. This dude jumped up draft boards across the nation, and in some cases, people are saying they're ranking him above Marvin Harrison Jr., which is a good thing for the Chicago Bears because they could land either or. But I am very sold on the idea of Caleb Williams launching one deep downfield at Soldier Field to Malik Neighbors. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago Bears. My name is Nick Brody, and as always, thank you for tuning in to this episode. Today, I I am going to run through Neighbors' profile and why I would love if the Bears could somehow land him in this upcoming draft, and he would be an unbelievable addition to make the best trio of wide receivers in the NFL. Now, before I begin today's show, if you would love the fact of having Malik Neighbors on this roster next year for quarterback Caleb Williams, make sure to smash the like button on this video to show your support, along with commenting your thought on Neighbors in the comment section below, or if you you're just here and love the Chicago Bears, put a bear down in the comment section below. And please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already in order to stay up to date on all Chicago Bears news and highlights. Now, let's go into LSU wide receiver Malik Neighbors. Malik Neighbors standing at six foot, 200 pounds, nearly the same size as current wide receiver DJ Moore. This dude is built like a Greek god. He has a 42 inch vertical, big for jump balls and overpowering smaller defenders on 50-50 balls, along with running a 4.3540 day at LSU's Pro Day this past Wednesday, March 27, 2024. This dude just flies down the field. And I'm gonna, when I get into his route running, you guys are gonna be blown away for the speed, size, and agility combination. Not And because of all this, he is a projected top 10 pick in this upcoming draft. His NFL comparison, according to analysts, is Jamar Chase, who also came out of LSU. LSU just seems to constantly produce top wide receivers. I mean, Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, you name it. The big guys come from there. And I would love the fact if we were able to get Malik Neighbors because clearly it's working in today's modern NFL. So this past year for LSU, Malik Neighbors went crazy. 89 receptions for nearly 1,600 receiving yards, 14 receiving touchdowns, and a 17.6 yard per catch average. Clearly a touchdown machine that the Chicago Bears absolutely need, along with being a first down machine as well, something the Bears missed big time last year. He just makes opportunities for himself, and he has hands like glue, giving that confidence and comfortability to whoever our quarterback is, aka Caleb Williams. So his strengths, according to our friends over at NFLDraftBuzz.com, is that he his speed is crazy good something to help him create separation amongst defenders along with again having those amazing hands his quarterbacks qbr when they target him is 130.6 one of the best that you can have and one of the best in the ncaa this past year and according to nfldraftbuzz.com his stats don't lie his hands are ranked 91 out of 100. Again, mitts, glue, whatever you want to call it. This guy can catch everything. His short rods, 100 out of 100. Dang. Medium rods, 100 out of 100. Dang. And deep rods, 100 out of 100. Dang. His blocking also is 70 out of 100, which is huge for downfield runs when Caleb Williams rips it up himself or our fantastic backfield of DeAndre Swift, Khalil Herbert, and Rashawn Johnson at the moment. What can't this guy? I do. An explosive route runner, as you can see in his ratings above, along with insanely athletic to beat out defenders and also great ball skills overall, catching, vision, tracking, you name it, this guy's got it. And that great awareness gives himself constant opportunities and that's why he is going to do great things in the NFL. Now, before I get into my final segment of what exactly he fills for the Chicago Bears, please make sure to scan the QR code on the screen right now in order to get your ticket to our 2024 NFL Draft Party at Rizzo's Bar and Inn, presented by Freshy Organic Tequila Seltzer. Drink specials, free drinks while supplies last, meet and greets with podcasters and potentially current and former players, and be at the biggest party in Chicago. There's going to be over 250 
50 people at this event. We can't wait to party with you all. And your ticket is a donation to a local Chicago nonprofit, College Bound Opportunities. You can donate $1, you can donate $500 or anything in between. Any amount is greatly appreciated. I just want you guys all there and would love to meet you all. So going back to neighbors, the needs that he filled is all key for the Bears. First of all, athletic wide receiver to win 50-50 balls. No matter where he is, red zone, deep downfield, short routes, you name it, he's got it for you. A downfield target that makes opportunities not only for himself, but helps spread the offense even more. Adding him with Keenan Allen and DJ Moore would absolutely be a insane combination. I'm talking 40 plus points a game, folks. This guy can do it all. And that first down machine is big for me because the Bears clearly couldn't get it that a lot of those last year, at least through the air. And I want to see the Bears get constant first downs and let Kayla Williams be the quarterback that breaks Eric Kramer's all-time single season record for the Chicago Bears, which wasn't even 4,000 yards. And we're going to have Eric Kramer on in a couple of weeks to go through Kale Williams and his overall thoughts. So stay tuned for that. But man, Malik Neighbors, guys, this guy brings it, and I would love for the Bears to somehow land it. But again, it also gives us the opportunity. If Neighbors takes over, there's going to be five quarterbacks taken in the top couple of picks. Then you got Joe Alt, and then you got Dallas Turner. The Bears very well could get Malik Neighbors or Marvin Harrison Jr. Either or are great, but this guy, he is something else. Point your thoughts in the comment section below. Again, please like this video if you haven't already. It helps it get to more Bears fans the more you guys like it. And if you have haven't already hit that subscribe button we're trying to get to 15,000 before the draft can't wait to see you guys all at the draft party link is in the description as well but with that thank you as always for tuning in this episode of just another year chicago bears my name is nick Rody, and as always bear down baby